What's up? I'm back, and today we got some more Reddit entitled parents, and I am really excited about these ones. Like, I just looked at them, and I'm really excited. They they all look like some some nice, some nice, some nice stuff. I don't know where my camera. It was looks fine like five minutes ago. Alright. Okay, right, so the first one, entitled mother accuses me of stealing in a store. Which doesn't, does not even sell the stolen item. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do this every video, like, like, in case, like, it's your first time. Me is me. EM is entitled mother. EK, entitled kid. And this is an extra, uh, C, cashier. So this happened yesterday. I'm on vacation in Dresden with my grandma. We often go out together to go shopping, but now and again I go alone if I want to get something. Again, I'm on mobile, my English isn't always the best. So I went out because I wanted to buy another Overwatch pop figure in GameStop. I had seen the figure the day before, but was with my grandma, but was with grandma. The GameStop is in a large shopping center with many different stores. Important to know that the GameStop is the only store there that sells pop figures. I went in, took the figure off the shelf, and headed to the cash register. There's n there was no employee, so I waited. In comes the EM and her EK. The EK runs over to the massive shelf filled with pop figures and starts looking through them. Meanwhile, I pay for my figure and start heading out. The EK runs over and points at me. EK, Mom, she has my figure. That's the one I wanted. EM comes over to me and holds out her hand. Give us the figure, me. No, I just paid for it. Also, this was the last one, and I came first. The figure I bought was the normal size Symmetra pop figure from the Overwatch collection. I had asked the employees if they had any other, but they said the figure on the shelves was all they had. EM tries to reach for the figure. Just give it to us. You don't need it anyways. My, also, my son deserves it. He's been so good lately. He deserves a gift. Me. I don't care, lady. I paid for the figure with my own money. Now leave me alone. I walked past her and left the store. I heard EK whining about wanting the figure, but I couldn't care less. I went to the Aldi grocery store to get something to drink. I put the figure in my bag, which was partially open. I got a bottle of water and went to pay. And out of nowhere, EM runs up to the cash register. EM, stop her! She's trying to steal my son's toy. I wanted to get him that toy. She tries to grab the figure out of my bag. Me, what's your problem, lady? I push her away and take out the figure. See. We don't even sell these figures here. EM, I saw her take it. I wanted to buy it for my son, and she stole it. She wasn't going to pay for it. Me, takes out the ticket and shows I paid for it. Also, I would gladly go back to GameStop and show you more proof I paid for it. I have, I have I, my store card name. My store, I have the store card on my name. See, please leave the store now before I will call security. EM and EK leave, and I didn't see them for the rest of the day. I paid for my drink and went on shopping. I somewhat wish the cashier would have checked my ticket. I'm not from Germany and have a Belgian credit card, so on the ticket, the machine does print in Dutch. I would have loved to see the EM trying to talk into that. Uh, I, I, I love these ones. They're, like, really nice. I, I don't know. It's very satisfying. Okay. So we have the next one, and if my mic was a bit off, that's because it was far away from me, my roommate is, this close to now, so it should be better. No, your, this one is called, no, your kid does not need an MRI, they need an ice pack. Due to popular demand, I was doing paramedic placement at a small rural town on the coast. Lovely place. We get cold, cold one, lights and tires, to an upper class suburb to a kid who had fallen off a bike. Upon arrival, I quick scene size up. Small toddler on bike on nice soft grass, distraught mother at door. We go in and have a look at the kid. Mentor peer, paramedic, I start combing through the kid's hair, looking for bleeding sw or swelling, nothing. I'm treating I'm treating officer for this case. Mother, um, paramedic. Mother, paramedic, I don't know. I'm getting to the twizzle. Oh, this is the CAD. Okay. Mother is M and paramedic is P. Me. To, to kid. I'm not seeing anything. Can you point to where it hurts? Kid. 
points, he still looks in the book. And she'll have to go to the hospital. Me. I'm not seeing any reason why the kid needs to go to the hospital. We're having a hard time finding the book. M. She needs an MRI. Please note, the closest MRI is a two-hour drive. Well, this is happening. The paramedic has a concussion. A near... A neuro... Has a conduction. A neuro assessment. All good there. Me. There's no MRI machine here. The emergency ward only has four beds. H have you put an ice pack on the kid's head? Me. No, but she needs to get go to the hospital and get checked. P. Let's start with bed. Let's start with that then see if that improves. Paramedic starts to go out starts to grab out chemical ice pack. Me. We won't use that, turning to mother. Do you have some frozen peas in the freezer? M. Yes, why? Me. Can you grab them and wrap them in a tea towel? M. Sure. Mother leaves the room. Paramedic has a puzzling look on her on his face. Mother comes back with peas wrapped in a car and tea towel. F. Me. Thank you. Passes it to kid, puts it on the register. Kid does so. Feeling better? Kid nods. P. Oh, you're using the peas as an ice pack? Nice idea. M. What? Me. The head is in a very vascular area. Lots of blood vessels. It swells very easily when it's subjected to impact. Ice does wonders to reduce swelling. And frozen peas are much better than a chemical ice packs. M. Oh, I didn't know that so she doesn't need an mri me to kid all good kid is smiling give thumbs up me to mother i'm confident i say your kid does not need to go to the hospital a long discussion about pain prevention what our degree does when we get back in the ambulance our closest drive beach through paperwork i suspect mother has watched too many medical dramas and hasn't taken a basic for first aid i have taken a basic first aid course <laughs> like so I'm just gonna say something. An MRI and an ice pack are very different. Like, wow. I don't see how like you think that your kid needs an MRI scan if they they barely have just a little red bump. I don't know. That was cool. And all right, so we have this one now. EM pulls a taser on me after I don't give her and her kid a refund. Right, taking up my coffee real So this is my first post here. I work at the local supermarket. Obviously, we have all sorts of idiots and entitled buffoons come in. But this one clearly takes the cake. So this mother came up to my checkout lane and started putting stuff on the belt. Apparently, she decided to give her kid the box of Oreos she was buying. He looked at the tear through that like there was no tomorrow. So she pulls it away from him. Situation is due. Yeah. Me, you know the drill. Yeah. Um, Tony, put those down. She turns to me now with a happy with a half eaten box. Yeah. Oh I'm sorry, could I get a refund for those? Me, um ma'am, you haven't bought those yet. Yeah. Yes I have and I can't use them. Now can you give me a refund? Me, ma'am, you haven't bought them. No, you have to. That'd be five bucks, roughly. Yeah. Um, no. I bought these, and now I want my money back. Now, now I don't know if this is some god-awful scheme, or if she was actually stupid. But either way, me. Ma'am, I cannot give you a refund on a product you haven't bought. Ma'am. You'll give me a refund! At this point, she pulls out a taser and starts waving it in my direction. I hit the button to trigger the silent alarm. The cops are now on their way. Yeah. Gives me a... Give me a refund, you idiot. Me. Look, ma'am, I can go get the manager. Maybe he can help. Fine, go get the manager. So I go back and get him. He comes out and talks to her. I didn't hear what they said because I cowered in the office for fear of being tased. But a cop showed up after about four minutes and asked her. So that was a fun Friday. <laughs> for about ten minutes and... Okay, I mean, I thought that this would last like 15 minutes, so I'm going to try to find one real quick. What? Oh yeah, we found another one. Nice. Okay, so this is, looks like it's going to be a pretty longish one. It's not a short one, okay? So, for a little bit of a backstory, I used to go to a private school. No, my parents aren't rich, but we are middle class, and yeah, 
they want me to go, go to a good school. So they sent me to a private school. They thought that the environment would be perfect. Anyway, they saw good reviews online. Obviously, this is not the case. Anyway, let's go. Let's get on to the real story. So two years ago, I, as you read, went to a private school. And in the middle of the school year, I had two weeks of sad and antagonizing time, which included my mom going to the hospital over a dispute with my stepfather. I obviously refused to speak about it in public because, you know, it's about a family situation. My therapist agreed with my decision, so I went ahead and got it. She also suggested for me to take a week off from school and just focus on life. My mom agreed, so I went out and took a week off of school. Family gathering, social media, everything. After that week, I tried to keep my chin up. It was hard, but I did my best. Enter EM and EK. EM, entitled mom, is that's also a teacher and vice principal. EK, entitled kid, which is the daughter of EM. P is principal, and I is me. Oh, one more thing. Just to make it clear, entitled mom is the vice principal, and then the principal is different. It was a regular day in the school, second period, and this is my second class I have with EK. But in this period, EM is the teacher. EM always favors EK in everything. Late, ho late homework? Turn in next week. Bad behavior? Oh, she's just playing. Basically, your everyday Karen. EM always wanted me to be... E EM always wanted me to be EK's boyfriend. So to the point when this one was the one she tried to force me to be EK's boyfriend, when you can read it here. She always makes EK flirt with me, and she made EK sit right next to me. She always used to, to annoy and bug me. So here's where the story starts. I'm already having a bad day. My headphones got ripped off when I, when I closed the door in the morning. You can imagine how mad you'd be when you're having a bad days every day. So I sit down, put my binder on my desk. I look back because my friend calls me and cracks a joke. Because he knows I was having a bad time lately. When I look back to my desk, my binder is gone. I look right next to me. EK had the binder to the chest. Me. EK, please hand me the binder. Please hand me my binder back. I was pretty protective of my binder because I had some pretty important sensitive information there, like some drawings. I did not want to show anyone of that situation. I've been in before. My therapist recommended drawing some bad situations when I was in one to the deep of stress. EK. No, not until you tell me why you were absent the whole last week. Me. I just had some family issues, nothing really. EK. No, I want to know what happened. So it's opening my binder. Me. Don't open my binder. I'm going to tell you what happened. I'm not going to tell you what happened. For a sec. Oops. I, sorry. Sorry, guys. No, I don't. I just had some family. Nothing really. No, I, no, I want to know what happened. Starts opening my binder. Me. Don't open my binder. I'm not going to tell you what happened. EK. EK rips out a drawing of my binder and starts laughing and showing the whole class. Me. Why? What the beep, EK? Why would you do that? EK, I told you I wouldn't have done it if you told me. Me snatches it from my hand. Thanks, beep. You won't be getting this back. EK runs to EM and starts whispering some things. EM comes over to me with a message. EM. Why don't you just tell her what happened? It wasn't even that crazy. Tell her now. Me. No, it's private stuff. EM. Okay, well, you don't have to tell her, but you have to tell me. Me. No, I'm not telling you either. EM. You have to tell me. I'm a teacher. Me. No, I don't. You're the same as EK. The piss... The piss off EM and told me to go to the, P the P's office and wait till she comes. At P's office, P. What... What's up, me? I was pretty... Cool with the bee. He understood my mental health, etc. Me. EM sent me here and told me I had to wait. P. Okay, just wait here. EM walks into the office. EM. So why don't you tell me what happened to me? Me. I, I told you 10,000 times. It's private. Leave me alone. EM. Tell me what happened now. No, I'm not EM. I'm not giving you chances. If you don't tell me what happened, you're going to get expelled. Me. I don't care if I get expelled. I don't want to see you and you anyway. EM. Don't call my daughter that. Tell me your story and I will leave you alone. Me. No. EM. If I don't t if I, if I, if don't, if you don't tell me the next time I ask you, I will expel you. Tell me what happened. Me. I plead the fit. This, this made the teacher mad like crazy because we were learning about amendments and stuff in our class at the time, at the time, so she basically played herself. EM. Don't talk to me like that. I taught you that and you have no respect for me.
that's it. You're expelled. Peep was keeping our class busy at the time in, of when she was talking to me. But she came running here because the whole school hurt because she was screaming her lungs out. Yeah, he starts getting paper for his, for his books and, and gets the phone to call my mom. My mom and stepdad split up after what happened. E.M. on the phone with my mom. Hello, Mrs. My last name. I would like you to come to the school as your son is getting expelled. She immediately turns off the phone and says that she knew my mom would prevent this. My mom was at work so she couldn't pull up, so E.M. just shoved the paper in my face and told me to find a ride home. He enters the room. Pete. What do you think you're doing, E.M.? You cannot expel anyone without my consent. Get out of the school right now or I will call the cops. E.M.'s face goes pale and she grabs her bag and hits my arm. She runs into her classroom. According to my friend, she grabbed E.K. by the arm and dipped out of there. They left all their stuff and everyone was confused and started celebrating after thinking they assumed E.K. was, E.M. was fired. The class started celebrating and we got a new teacher in like two weeks. The new teacher is way better, but after the incidents at the end of the year, I dipped out of the school. That was my 10th grade year, and in a few weeks, I'll be graduating from high school and going to the University of Michigan. Thanks for reading my encounter with an EM. Bye. To everyone thinking why the principal fired her on the spot for, for just expelling me, it wasn't because of that. Then she shoved the paper in my face and kept her fists in a couple of seconds from an angle. I'm sure that P had thought she punched me. Okay, so, that uh, leaves us at 16 minutes. Okay, so I think it's time to wrap this up. And if you enjoyed these entitled parent stories, make sure to smash that like button. That's basically going to tell me. Tell me in the comments below if there's something else you want me to do. Like, really, whatever on the channel. Um, and, yeah, that's it. So, bye.